I was really a lucky child. I used to lie awake in my bed at night and think, why do I have such great parents? Why do I have enough food to eat? You know, why am I so fortunate? And I knew that I owed something back. She was born Rebecca Jo Savage in Little Falls, Minnesota. Her dad worked for Minnesota Power and Light, and her mom stayed at home to take care of Becky and her sister Judith. Even then, Becky had an unmatched energy and passion for life. She loved music, horseback riding, even hunting with her dad. She was a cheerleader, and I was a klutz, and she decided that I should be on the cheerleading squad with her. And so she actually worked with me and worked with me and worked with me, and guess what? I got on the cheerleading squad. <laughs> she was a leader then. Becky's mom used to tell her not to agonize over problems, but to do something about them. And she learned a few things from her dad, too. My father used to say, Becky, I know you want to change the world, but you do not leave a debt onto the next generation. He was my older brother. I was 18 years old. It's like, you're going to marry my brother? <laughs> Are you nuts? <laughs> Drawn together by their shared passion for social justice, Becky and Jean Laurie married and started a family. My oldest son, Tim, once said that he spent his formative years in the back seat of a Dodge Monaco station wagon because we took him to so many walks for justice and so many marches. They always thought they would adopt as many as they gave birth to. And they gave, they birth, went over that they gave birth to four, <laughs> ended up adopting eight. The adoption agency would actually call them and say, we have another one, can you take another one? We are you taking one, we have this other one, can you take them too? So they're like, sure, bring them on up. After living in Washington, D.C. and the Wedge neighborhood of Minneapolis, Becky and Jean moved back to rural Minnesota to raise their kids. I was here with five children and 75 cows and 5,000 bales of hay. It was a really steep learning curve. I was born with only, you know, three fingers on my left hand and on my right hand, just a thumb. And, and I had actually 24 surgeries I've actually had to um, help. And without health care coverage, it was really, we almost lost the farm and we had to have an auction. And, it was really tough, it was really hard. Jean was able to start another business that was a little more successful and, and somehow salvage the farm and everything else. And it was an unbelievable tough time, but we made it through, we made it through. In good times, in celebration, and in the darkest days of grief, the Lori family comes together for love, courage, and strength. The family is so strong and the family comes together and embraces each other, every single member of the family. We rally around and support one another and it is incredibly strong. Becky has a record of beating the odds. Entering public service, she defeated popular conservative incumbents for both her House and Senate seats. And when I was running for the Senate, I decided I would challenge my three opponents to a shootout at the Wealthwood Rod and Gun Club. We shot all afternoon, but on that very first shot that I took with my 30 at six, I hit a bullseye and it went into the front pages of the local papers and, uh, and the discussion was over. A distinguished legislator, Becky holds a leadership position in the Senate and co-authored Minnesota Care. Becky walks her talk. She and Jean run several successful companies that use renewable energy and provide their employees full health benefits and on-site daycare. I care so much about our state and the people in our state, and I know that we need new leadership, leadership with a vision that moves this state to greatness. Becky Laurie has a plan to offer affordable health care coverage to all Minnesotans by 2010, without new taxes. Becky Laurie has a plan to help every child succeed, 
and to create the most skilled workforce in the nation. Becky Laurie has a plan for energy independence by 2030, to make Minnesota a world leader in renewable energy and to reduce congestion and pollution on our state's roads. Becky Laurie has a vision for Minnesota, to create the best economy in the nation and the highest quality of life in the world. I believe that once she has a true belief, she fights and fights and never gives up until the end. We win when we endorse a candidate with character and real life experiences. She's the perfect candidate as far as I'm concerned. And she's a woman. I am prepared to lead this state so that we do not pass social strife or debt or a crumbling infrastructure onto the next generation. She can be the governor of Minnesota. She knows how to do it, and she can do it, and she can do it well. Minnesotans are ready for change. Join with me, and we will return Minnesota to greatness. We have a huge responsibility for this short time that we're here to make a difference.